Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create fabrication drawing in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now I am going to create column. So click on steel and select this column. And click on here to place the column. Right click on mouse interrupt. I zoom it here. Use the shortcut Ctrl 4 for render view. And double click on this column. Now I'm going to change column profile. By default, we have ISMB 400. For example, we record ISMB 300. So click on here. Let's take ISMB 300. Then click on apply. OK. Now click on modify to see the result. Now close this window. Now I'm going to change the column top level and bottom level. So double click on it. Now let's take bottom level 0 and top level 4000. Click on modify and close it. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. Use the shortcut Ctrl R and pick the rotation point here. Use the Ctrl and mouse middle button to rotate like this. Ok, now I'm going to create base plate connection at the bottom of this column. So go to application components by using the shortcut Ctrl F. In search bar type number 1042. And select this base plate 1042 component and pick the main part as a column and pick the position at gradient section point. Right click on mouse interrupt and close this window. Click on space, right click on mouse, view. Ok, now I'm going to edit this base plate, so double click on it. For example, click on this bolt tab. In bolts, we're going to take spacing 50, 50 and 2 bolts. Let's take 80 millimeter. Click on modify it. Ok, now I'm going to create base plate like this. Now click on apply, ok. Ok, now I'm going to create fabrication drawing for this column so select this column right click on mouse create drawing assembly drawing click on this number all modified objects then click on perform numbering now click on this save numbers click on space right click on mouse review now go to drawing list by using the shortcut ctrl l on your keyboard you can see now we have fabrication drawing like this number c1 so double click on this drawing Now close the window here. You can see by default we have assembly drawing like this. Now I'm going to delete these sections and this view also. And remove these dimensions and this dimension too and part marks also. Now we have this drawing like this. Now click on this boundary box and drag and place it here and zoom it. You can change the scale of this drawing. So double click on this outer box you can control the scale at here for this fabrication drawing currently the scale is enough so click on modify apply ok ok you can see in bill of material we have two parts number one and 1001 so now we have two parts here this is one and this is 1001 for example select this i section right click on mouse add mark and applied double click on it remove this assembly position and select this part position click on modify you can see this is the part number one now click on this general if you want to change this type you, you can control from here we have different types of frames for example let's take this frame you can see you'll get like this if you don't record frame then select this option click on modify it like this Okay, currently we're going to take this one and click on modify, apply, okay. Now coming to this part position, select it, right click on mouse, add mark and apply. It. Now I have this base plate part mark 1001 and this I section profile part mark 1. Now I'm going to create single part drawing for this column. So select this column, right click on mouse, create single part view. You can see now we have single part drawing like this. Now select it and drag and place it here. And click on this box and drag and place it here by using the left mouse key. Like this. Okay, we have total length this one. And we need to provide here part mark with profile. So select it, right click on mouse, add mark and apply it. You can see now we have part mark 1. And we have the profile here ISMB 300. If you want to provide the profile at here, then double click on it. 
select this profile then click on add then click on modify it okay to differentiate now we're going to so create iphone symbol so scroll it down and select this text click on add and enter here minus then click on ok and click on this minus symbol and click on move move up then click on modify you can see this is the part number this is the profile otherwise if you want to place this profile bottom then remove this minus symbol and you need to select this option this symbol click on add and select it move up click on modify you'll get like this this is the part number this is the profile you can also create like this okay if you don't record this profile then remove it and remove this symbol also click on modify apply okay you'll get like this now I have total length length of this i section now i'm going to create this actual length of this column so double click on this inside rectangle click on this attributes 2 and you can see shortening the currently this part is shortening now i'm going to click on here and select this no to create actual length now click on modify it this is the actual length of this column but we need to reduce it so click on here and select s and click on modify it this is a shorting length for example if you want to reduce the scale then click on attributes one and select here 10 click on modify it you can see you'll get like this now we need to increase the length so click on attributes 2 and enter here for example let's take 600 now click on modify it you can see you'll get like this now click on apply ok now I'm going to remove this center line of this column so double click on the center line remove this tick mark here center line click on modify apply ok and click on it and drag and place it here if you want to move this part mark then select it hold the shift and left mouse key to adjust the position and release the shift key and you can adjust the part mark without moving this point by using the only left mouse key okay now i'm going to place this part mark here now i'm going to create base plate single part drawing also so select this plate right click on mouse create single part view you can see now i have single part drawing for this base plate now delete this view left view and top view and select this rectangle and move top side by using the left mouse key just click it drag and place it like this by default you have dimensions these dimensions are more than enough so drag and place it here like this okay this is the whole part mark you can see now we have four number of holes and the dia 22 like this double click on it and select this d and you need to select the color for example let's take this color click on modify apply for example let's take red color click on modify apply ok like this okay if you want to add this dimension also then select it right click on mouse add dimension point and select this point to create additional dimension right click on mouse interrupt like this select this dimension and use the left mouse key to drag and place the position uh, you can adjust this position like this okay now we have single part drawing for this base plate we need to give the base plate part mark so select it right click on mouse add mark and applied you can see now we have the part mark number 1001 like this you can see now our bill of material we have 1001 this is single part drawing and we have second one one number one part mark this is the number one part mark like this okay now coming to this so assembly drawing fabrication dimensions so we already have the part mark 1001 and number one now we need to give the total length of this column so click on dimensioning and select this vertical distance and zoom it here pick the first point 
and click the second point here and press the scrolling button to place the dimension right click on interrupt you can see now we have dimension like this drag and place it properly double click on it you can change this arrow symbol for example click on this appearance click on here by traditional method we are using this arrow click on modify you'll get like this now click on apply ok you can see you'll get like this now coming to this dimension we need to give this dimension so select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at this hole and pick the second point center of this column and pick this next point here now press the scrolling button to place the dimension right click on mouse interrupt now click on it and drag and place it like this similarly we need to give dimensions in the section view also so we need to create section so click on view and select this section view and pick the first point here and pick the second point and pick the first point of this pick box and pick the second point of cut box like this now click on here to place the dimension you can see now a section view like this now we're going to adjust this arrow size so double click on it for example let's take size 5 click on modify it and now we're going to adjust the position upward direction so enter here number 5 click on modify it and apply ok and click on it and you can adjust like this click on this arrow and drag and place it left side now coming to in the section view if you want to remove this hatching double click on it click on this fill and click on here and select none and click on modify apply ok ok now I'm going to give the dimensions so click on this dimensioning and select this horizontal distance and click on this first point hole and pick the second point center of this column next point click on here center of hole and click on here to place the dimension similarly we need to place in vertical direction also so select this vertical distance and pick the first point pick the second point at the center and next point hole okay you'll get like this double click on it you can adjust this dimension so click on here and select outside click on modify you'll get outside dimension like this click on apply ok and select it and drag and place it like this okay now i'm going to give the part mark so select this base plate right click mouse add mark and applied now we have the part mark for this base plate this one and similarly we need to give this column part mark so select it right click mouse add mark and applied now have part mark one and base plate part mark one double zero one like this okay if you want to place this title at bottom then double click on this title click on this label tab and pan it here currently we have label position above then click on here and select this below click on modify it you can see you will get bottom if you want to remove this section scale then in a2 and remove it now click on modify you will get like this then click on ok you can see you will get like this you can now go to place this column at the center so click on this boundary box and drag and place it like this and click on it and drag and place it like this you can adjust this views by using these boundary boxes you can adjust this boundary box like this okay that's it now we're going to if you want to remove this center line then double click on it you can remove this center line and click on modify apply okay you can create like this if you require you can see now we have this part mark and we have single part drawings for this fabrication drawing single part drawings and we have fabrication dimensions now coming to this now this part should be welded to this i section profile so we need to give the weld mark so click on this annotations and select this weld mark and you can place the weld mark here click on here and pick the second point here to create weld mark like this now we need to weld around weld so double click on it now remove this size here we need to place the side 
near side so make it here 6 and click on modify to place like this now remove this symbol now we need to weld uh, around weld so click on here and select this around and click on modify apply ok like this near side around weld this is the weld symbol for near side around weld like this okay that's it about how to create fabrication drawing in tecla structures and use the shortcut control s for save and close the window here to close the drawing now go to drawing list by using the shortcut control l and select it this is the drawing we have created now if you want to convert this drawing into pdf then select it right click on mouse click on this print option now select this pdf now select this option open folder when finished the drawing now click on printer to convert this drawing into pdf okay and close it okay that's it about how to create fabrication drawing for this column in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you